Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your mid-May 2020 general love reading. This is your girl, Mermaid Scales Tarot. Sagittarius, I hope you are all well, healthy, safe during these crazy chaotic times. I'm sending you all my love and light. I really appreciate you guys. I mean, I know a few of you have been reaching out to me via the comments, email, DMs on Instagram asking about my energy, if I'm okay. Guys, I'm okay. Thank you. I mean, the last month I was going through a few personal things in my life, but I am healed, I am strong, and guys, you're a blessing in my life. Thank you for all your love and support of myself and the channel. If you're new here, welcome. I really hope you gain some insight and clarity in this video in regards to your love life. And if you've been riding with me for a while, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for your returning. I hope you gain that same insight by watching this video. Also, Sagittarius, I am selling my hand-picked crystal sets and my handmade zodiac candles on my online shop, mermaidscaleshop.com. I hand choose every crystal that goes in each crystal set that I feel every purchaser will resonate with. And I hand make every candle that I sell on my online shop and I intuitively choose the colors and the scents I believe every zodiac sign will vibe with. If you're interested in making a purchase for yourself or someone that you love, please feel free to go ahead and check out the online shop. You can find the link in the description box of this video. Alright Sagittarius, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so this is a general love reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Stellium, and or any other placement you see fit for the sign of Sagittarius. This is not going to resonate with every Sagittarius that listens to this message. Messages are said for those who need to hear them, and that's how my intuition and my guides prioritize the messages that I provide during this reading. If this reading isn't for you, Sagittarius, I suggest checking your other signs in different placements, because depending on the planetary aspects in the sky, those signs may resonate with you more at this time than your sun sign does. Also, Sagittarius, it's important to know that not every message in this video will be for you, and that's completely okay. Please only take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone who needs to hear that message. Hi, Cross Watchers. You're very welcome here if you're interested in the Sagittarius. Who would it be? I do have to remind you guys that energy is fluid. Therefore, Sagittarius and Cross Watcher, you may feel like I am describing a certain situation or scenario where you feel the roles are flipped and reversed, and that's completely fine. You are more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles as I describe the situation or the story that's going on in the spread. But because this is a Sagittarius reading, I will make Sagittarius the same subject of the reading. The main subject of the reading. <laughs> Finally, we all have divine masculine and feminine energies within each and every one of us. So at all during this reading, if I say the words masculine or feminine, please know I'm referring to the energies, not the gender or the sex. If anything is gender or sex specific, I will let you know. So Sagittarius, I'm tuning into an energy that is around you. And again, if the roles are reversed, then they're reversed. But Please know that you don't have to be in a relationship with this person for their energy to come through. It's just anyone who has romantic feelings for you, has romantic energy towards you, that is bonded to you energetically, that wants to come out in, during your reading. So, Sagittarius. I, you're dealing with someone who's a bit unpredictable. And I feel as if you know, one moment they know exactly what they want from this connection. They're determined. They have all this big talk about the dreams and expectations they want from this. But then the next minute, they go cold. They are distant. They, I feel like this person just sends you completely different mixed messages. And you're just confused at what the hell to do with all of them. But in the background, we have the Four of Wands, Aries Energy. 
You could have Aries in your chart or you can be involved with an Aries. I do feel that there is some sort of significant soulmate connection between the two of you. And I want to explain soulmate connection here. And I'm sure some of you who've been writing with me for a while know what I'm talking about. But for those of you who don't, soulmates are not always, you know, the fairy tale Disney couples that end up to be together forever and ever. Soulmates are people who have karmic contracts in our lives, who are meant to teach us a significant lesson about ourselves and our path. And what's, these could not, they're not just only like romantic partners, right? These could be our parents, these could be our children, these could be our friends, these could be our family members. Soulmates come in all different forms, right? But I feel as if this person and you do have a karmic contract together. This person has a lot of passion for you. You do make them happy. You, I don't know, I'm hearing inside joke. I don't know what that is. You guys maybe have some inside jokes together that you always tell each other. Or maybe I'm even hearing an inside joke with a friend about this person who you're connected to. I'm not really sure. Maybe a nickname I'm hearing too. But Sagittarius, I also feel that this is your energy of wanting more stability, wanting more reliability, you know, it's the number four is a very grounded foundation, the strong foundation type of number. And this is all you really want. It's not like you're asking for, you know, complete control of this person's life. But I feel as if this person almost is afraid of fully opening up to you emotionally as we can see with the king of cups in reverse because they're almost afraid that a partnership or a connection would take away their independence but that's not what you're trying to do here sagittarius and maybe they've dealt with controlling people in their past maybe you have but that's not what i feel like you guys are just on two different pages of the same book if that makes any sense I'm hearing book club too. Maybe someone's in a book club where you met this person like at a book club or like a cafe, um, a library even. I'm not sure. That's not for everyone, obviously. But really, I feel like this is the goal you guys want with this person, but they're making it very difficult. And it, it's the polarity within them, Sagittarius. You know, I don't see strong oh no i do actually you could be dealing with a gemini for some of you i do see some gemini energy but we also have capricorn energy here very strong um you could be a capricorn sagittarius cusper you could have capricorn in your chart or you could be connected to one but that doesn't have to be the case guys people just like to hear the zodiac energies of the cards but you know also i just want to keep you guys aware that it shouldn't be this hard to have a dependable, passionate, solid foundation with someone. And I feel like you guys are almost feeling like, what's what's with all this work? Why is it taking so long? Why am I putting so much effort? Or why is this so much more difficult than it has to be? Let's get into the reading. So how this person feels about you, Sagittarius? Eight of Wands, Sagittarius energy. They could have Sagittarius in their chart. They could be a Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be the case. I mean, for some of you, this could be a long distance connection with the Eight of Wands. That could, signif um, that could definitely be a factor in this connection here. Others of you, you could have met online, online dating type of thing for some of you. But I'll get into the reading further, but this is where it gets confusing with how they feel they want to take things further. They want, they envision having this Four of Wands connection with you too, Sagittarius. But the thing is, is that I feel like it's fleeting with them. I, I honestly almost feel like this person, you know, when they think about you, when they think about the connection, you know, all this fire, all this passion starts to ignite within them. But then, you know, the thought of, losing their independence or the thought of giving more than what they're willing to give, that kind of just then stifles the fire all of a sudden. I'm hearing kind of unrealistic, like this person just 
has unrealistic expectations of the connection and maybe even some of you feel as if this person has unreal expectations for you. But with the Eight of Wands upright, it is positive. I do feel as if as time goes on, they're getting more and more comfortable with the idea of taking things further with you, Sagittarius. But I also feel an impatience from your end, too. And again, if the roles are reversed, they're reversed. What they think of you is the Hierophant, Taurus energy. You could be connected to a Taurus. You could have Taurus somewhere in your chart. I also feel Capricorn energy with this card as well. They know you want something more stable. They know you want something more committed. They know you want something that is reliable. I don't know who this is for, but this is coming through, and I'm just the messenger here, right? I, I'm, and I don't know, if Sagittarius, if you feel this way about this person or they feel this way about you, but I'm hearing, like, know-it-all. I'm also getting, if that's not the case, and that's not a message for everyone, um, someone is just a lot more mature out of the two of you. And someone almost feels like they're always having to tell the other person what to do, but not in a way, again, to control them or anything, but just like, hey, you know, if you say you're going to pick me up at this time, please don't arrive 15 minutes late. <laughs> I don't know. It's like something like that. Like not lecturing, but kind of just like letting someone know that they need to be more considerate and to keep others in mind. Because this person, I almost feel like kind of lives on their own. They live by their own standards. They live in their own world. And I feel as if there's an energy, and I do feel like it's coming from you, Sagittarius, but again, if they're reversed or reversed, you're trying to bring this person a lot more down to earth, a lot more grounded, and try to... You teach them a lot about themselves, also, Sagittarius. Um, you know, you point things out about them that they've never really noticed about themselves before, but they're like, oh, you're right, you know, I, I, I am kind of aloof. I do kind of come off as flighty. I do... You know, they're well aware of it, and I feel like it is because of you, Sagittarius, pointing it out. I'm feeling a weird tingling sensation in my ankle, which is kind of strange. I don't know what that's all about. But that's obviously not for everyone. But like at my heel, too. Someone may like to wear really high heels, or someone wears heels all the time, whether that's you or the other person, Sagittarius. They look sexy in heels. I don't know. I'm also feeling um, someone with like a very retro vibe. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm seeing like a kind of like a pencil skirt. And then, you know, I don't know. Like, kind of a retro fashion style. And that's not for everyone, too. I'm hearing kind of rockabilly, too. I don't know what that's all about. What they like about you, Sagittarius, Nine of Swords, Gemini energy. You could have Gemini in your chart. You could be connected to a Gemini. I am I almost feel as if Sagittarius, with this placement here of what they like the most about you, again, it's like that whole grounding that you give this person. I feel as if this person has always a lot on their mind. They always feel like they have to go, 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 do, do, do. And you, again, just ground them. You make them feel a lot more stress-free. You make them feel a lot more, you know, relaxed in your company. You're just kind of like, chill. You, you could just hang out with me. We can hang out at home. We could turn on Netflix. We can cook a meal and we can just hang out. And you definitely bring them in this place of, I don't know, I'm picking up on you humble this person. Almost. Others of you, Sagittarius, with this placement, they really can't get you off their mind. They constantly think about you, and I think that's kind of what scares them, though. I mean, like, they have good thoughts about you. I'm not feeling very negative thoughts about you. 
but again, this person is very much um, an independent based person and almost the thought of being in a relationship or a connection scares them. But they see the possibility with you, Sagittarius. But those doubts, those fears kind of is still what's holding them down from really going as far as they want to. It's like their head and their heart have different feelings and thoughts about this. And it's you are just trying to figure it all out is kind of how I feel. But I do want to clarify this. So let's go ahead and clarify and see if we can get any further information here. Why is the Nine of Swords a factor of what they like about Sagittarius? Seven of Pentacles. Okay, I'm not surprised to see Pentacle energy here. Taurus energy. Again, some of you definitely have Taurus in your chart. It doesn't have to be the case. With the King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Fire energy, specifically Leo. You could be connected to a Leo or you could have Leo somewhere in your chart. But yeah, Sagittarius, I feel like you kind of snap this person out of their own fears. And I feel as if this person worries a lot about the future, a lot about the past. It could be related to work. It could be related to just everything. I feel like this person is just kind of a nervous person. But Sagittarius, you're like, look, cross that bridge when you get here. Look what you have in front of you. You're fine. You're well. And only focus on the now. Because now is what's important. Or something along those lines. You ground this person and you inspire this person to be better, to do better, in a very positive way. What they don't like about you, Sagittarius, Ten of Pentacles, Virgo energy, some of you could have Virgo in your chart, um, doesn't have to be the case. Yeah, this is the, they know you want more of a commitment, Sagittarius, they know you want more stability, you, they know you want more prosperity, a lot more dedication but they're afraid of that whole trap of being in a family and then doing the same mundane the nine to five picking the kids up from school cooking dinner um, you know that type of thing but I feel like they're just misunderstanding where you're coming from it's not like you want to get hitched go to Vegas and sign the contract right now it, it I mean, some of you, I guess, could be married to this person and maybe they're becoming a bit midlife crisis is kind of what I'm hearing out of this. But most of you, I feel like they're just kind of misunderstanding where you're coming from. Just because you want a, more of a stable connection, just because you want more reliability doesn't mean you guys are going to ride off in the sunset together and get hitched and then they're forever tied down to you. That's really what I feel. This person's extremely independent, but they kind of have to understand where you're coming from. And some of you may feel like you've already tried to explain that. Like, I've told them, like, <laughs> that's not what this is. But they just, for some reason, when they hear, like, consideration and, con like, partnership, that those words, like, relationship even, that scares them in a way. So what they like about the connection, Sagittarius, King of Cups in reverse, Scorpio energy, could also be Cancer, Pisces energy. Um, yeah, this isn't my favorite placement for this card. They kind of like the fact that everything so far has been surface level between the two of you. Nothing has gone super deep yet as far as emotional revelations or emotional availability. And I feel like Sagittarius, you are trying to give them that space. You are trying to give them that understanding, but it, it's not enough for you. You know, you can't just, love isn't something where you can't completely X out any sort of feelings for someone or just like deep emotions that you have to express. Someone I feel like is emotionally stifled when it comes to this person. Or it could be vice versa if Sagittarius, you, or if Sagittarius is making you feel stifled, but someone likes the fact it hasn't really broken through the ice yet to get into the deeper levels of the water here. I 
oh my, okay I just saw a candy cane that may resonate with someone but maybe something happened around Christmas time uh, between the two of you or even around your birthday because December Sagittarius season um, maybe something happened between the two of you around then it's not for everyone right but yeah that's something to consider Sagittarius they're liking the fact that so far they haven't had to really emotionally convey any some sort of relationship needs or it, it is a kind of tiny bit self-absorbed. I have to be honest here. I'm hearing no strings attached. So I don't know who the energy that is, but just be aware of that. Let's clarify this, because this is interesting. Oh dear. Okay, there we go. I also heard stitches. I don't know if someone just got stitches, or maybe they've had stitches, and maybe that will be confirmation for you of narrow narrowing down who this is. I hope you didn't get stitches, Sagittarius. I hope you're okay, or cross-watcher. I'm sorry if you've been hurt recently. Ooh. Knight of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy. Yeah, this person, they're not, they're not moving anywhere near the emotional department. In fact, it's quite at a halt. That's where everything kind of stops. I feel like even if you guys hung out together and then you try to bring up the serious conversation of how someone feels, that's when you don't hear from them again. Or that's when they go silent. Or that's when they go cold. And then it's like a total block. But that can't go on forever if this is going to be successful. Someone also might have a towel wrapped around them right now, or like a towel wrapped around their head. I don't know. I don't know if you just got out of the bath or the shower, but that King of Cups looks like he <laughs> just got out of the bath. But anyway, what they don't like about the connection, the Knight of Cups. Pisces energy. Some of you could have Pisces in your chart. You could be connected to a Pisces. Deep, deep down, they know this conversation is coming where truths of the heart have to be revealed. Where it's inevitable that this conversation needs to be said about how I feel about you. What do you feel about me? Do I make you happy? Do I make you passionate? Do I... Do you love me? Do you like me? If love freaks out someone. And I'm also afraid. Oh, they're afraid. So that's just me, I guess, tuning into that person's energy. Of going with what their heart wants. Maybe they've been heartbroken before, Sagittarius. Maybe they've, you know, let their heart out on their sleeve for someone that just ended up taking it and stomping it on the ground. And so it's very scary for them to emotionally reveal themselves. But I just, I also just don't get a very emotional vibe from this person either at all. Like, emotions kind of scare this person. But they know this conversation that needs to be had is inevitable between the two of you. Highest hopes, seven of swords. Aquarius energy. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius. You could have Aquarius in your chart. This is doing it all on your own, right? This is independence. This is even kind of avoiding topics of conversation in order to get the upper hand, right? Taking only what they want to hear what they want to do, what they want to say, and leaving anything else that doesn't fit that criteria behind. Some of them still just want to be single for a little, for a longer Sagittarius, but I feel like that's more of their mind, their ego convincing them that, than that's really what their heart wants. I mean, what they feel about you, Eight of Wands. Their head and their heart are at complete disagreement over you, Sagittarius. And it's even, you know, it's confusing for you. 
It's confusing for you to figure out what this person wants, what this person thinks, what this person desires, because they don't even know, Sagittarius. Let's go ahead and clarify this as well. Why is the Seven of Swords the likely outcome, or the highest hopes for this person? Maybe I said that for a reason though, Sagittarius, I don't know. I want to be honest with you guys. Why is the Seven of Swords the highest hopes for this person? The Sun, Leo energy. They think that's what's going to make them happiest, right? They think that's being by themselves, being independent, being better off alone. I'm hearing that song, um, I forget who it's called, I believe it's by um, Alice DJ, Better Off Alone. I suggest looking up those lyrics to see if it resonates with you. But they think this is what's going to make them the happiest. Little do they know in the background really what's going on here. Gemini energy, Ten of Swords. Being by yourself all the time or doing things your own way all the time. Who's going to have your back when you need the, your help the most? You're, you're there by yourself on the ground with ten swords in your chest. Who's going to pull those swords out for you when you're trying to do all this by yourself? When you've tried to do your entire life and relationship by yourself? They're not realizing the reality of the situation here. Also, someone could have a red blanket, too. Red blanket or red curtains? Deepest fears, the devil. Capricorn energy. That, yeah, this is what they fear is that this connection. And honestly, Sagittarius, I, I feel like some of you are even getting offended. Um, that this person would think that you would put them in this situation because you guys wouldn't. I, that's not the energy I'm picking up from you. And so it's not anything personal. They just feel like any sort of relationship, any sort of dedication or energy that, again, they're not willing to give is going to put them in this predicament of being bound, binded to uh, obligation or being <sighs> bounded to you. They feel like it's limiting. They feel like it's, or they think, I should say, it's limiting. They think it's any sort of connection, any sort of relationship. Wow. So... Sagittarius, we're going to go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading where we're going to see the likely outcome of the situation for you guys. And I'm going to pull some more tarot cards for some advice. And I'm also going to call upon the angels to come through for the extended reading to offer any advice to you. My angels, your angels. But before we go, Sagittarius, let's go ahead and pull a card from the Romance Angels deck. And I'm going to see, I'm going to ask with this person's heart desires from this connection because I'm seeing a lot of their ego and I only slightly got a taste of what their heart is wanting from this so let's go ahead and see what does this person's heart desire from this connection with Sagittarius what is this person's heart? Ooh, two cards okay Codependency, love yourself first, soulmate. What did I guys, what did I tell you guys? <sighs> yeah, Sagittarius, they're just struggling with this idea of what love is and what love it almost as if they're like prejudging the whole connection and relationship before they're even giving you a chance. Like they think for some reason you're just gonna tie them down. You're just gonna you know, make sure that everything that they ever want to do is only going to be under your control. And that's not the case. And again, it's not because they feel like you're a controlling person. They just think that's how being in a partnership is, is like a servitude to one another. And that's not what you want from the Sagittarius. 
So, you know, I do feel like there's a karmic contract, but I do feel as if it's more importantly showing this person that love isn't just something that you have to 100% do for an another person in order for it to work. Yes, you have to put some work in on your side, but this is a partnership. This is, um, you know, or if you guys are not in a relationship, right? Love isn't just one person leading the dance. It takes two to tango, right? And I think you're here for them, Sagittarius, to show them that love is a beautiful dance, not one that is conducted by someone who just wants things to only be their way and they have no other choice in the matter. But it scares them because there is a part of them that just does love you, that does crave you, that does think about you, that does have feelings for you. But then they just try to get out of it once they f sit in that emotion and feel that. Wow, okay, we're going to go ahead and take this to the extended reading. If you'd like to join me there, Sagittarius, to see the likely outcome of this situation and any advice for you, go ahead and check out the description box where you'll find the link to Vimeo there. I really hope that this re resonated with you guys. If it did, please let me know. Please drop a comment. Please like, share, and don't forget to subscribe. And again, Sagittarius, if you're interested in purchasing some crystal sets, candles, or sage sticks, please feel free to visit my online shop where you can find the description box as well. I love you, Sagittarius, very, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care.